These are two clips you can see here, pretty similar, uh, that I was sent by Gershon. And uh, he, I think he was watching one of my videos on grading log footage and was looking at uh, his own log footage of, uh, from, from uh, it's actually S-Log3 footage. And uh, I think was having maybe some trouble grading it or, you know, wasn't quite sure what to set or wasn't getting the same results or something like that. And fair enough, they're all a little bit different. So I thought I'd uh, bring it into DaVinci and have a quick look at it myself. I've never graded uh, S-Log before, S-Log3. So I thought I would take a look. This one was called Normal Exposure, and this one I think was called uh, Overexposed. Um, I'm not sure that's... I'm really not sure where S-Log3 sits in the waveform, but uh, but looking at this, I wouldn't necessarily say that's overexposed. I think you've got these little struts here, uh, these white struts in the bright sunlight that are always kind of going to be pretty much blown out, or at least not have any you know, substantial detail in them. Uh, but, so I'm going to look at this one to start with and see how, well, see whether we can get them looking pretty much the same. They're both H264 clips, not sure how well they'll perform. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, bring this down so it's kind of just going into the blacks and then push it up a little bit. And then uh, take the top up. And I suppose, technically, that looks like it is the most, is the highest point we can get, but sometimes it can be a bit misleading when you've got these extremely white spots. Uh, one thing I suppose to remember is that this clip is, it is a really harsh, bright, sunny day. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to have to make it look like uh, if we're going to get a true representation of how it looked originally. Uh, so we're not going to sort of underdo the brightness. It's supposed to be bright. I'm guessing, you know, it's blue skies here, which is, if this looks like it was shot in the UK, so pretty unusual. Uh, so now we've set those two. We've got maybe a bit too much up in this part of the waveform, so we can adjust the gamma to bring that a little bit more, the mids a bit more in line, and then spread things out a bit with the contrast. And as we do that, as, I mentioned, as I've mentioned before, that adds a bit of saturation in as well. But we will need to add some more saturation into the clip because it's clearly undersaturated as it is. And uh, I'm going to push it really, really high. So that's obviously too much. And back it off a little bit. Maybe the shed, yeah, still looks a little bit too much there, doesn't it? At 79. Let's take it down to 70. So probably 70. Maybe looks about right. I don't think the grass looks over overly green there. Like the shed looks a shed and the roof there look a natural colour. We've got some blue, got some good blue in the sky. Maybe bring the that's probably a bit too maybe bring this. Some, probably something like that. Uh I'd let's have a go at warming it up just a little bit. Yeah, it probably looks a bit off then, doesn't it? It doesn't look, really look natural. I think the white balance is good. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, now, how bright can we go on this? So, not that bright. How bright should we go? Maybe to about there. Let's bring this down again and bring up the... See, the great thing about having a a log clip that's so ex well exposed like this is that we hardly have to bring the um, gain up at all and that's great because obviously if it's got noise in the clip you don't you know you're not going to bring up any of that noise and cause any any sort of extra issues for yourself so maybe i don't know maybe something like that you just do a quick before and after that's before that's after we're yeah, not entirely happy with it, actually. Maybe let me just go back to my contrast. Let's see if I can add a little bit more. And uh, just sort of tweaking around, pushing and pulling here. Yeah, okay. Well, that'll do for now. Doesn't look doesn't look too bad. 
Uh, bearing in mind, again, as I say, that this clip probably would have been had pretty harsh contrast on it to start with. Um, I don't know what the original was like, you know, the original view out of the window, so I can't really say for sure if it's accurate, but, you know, you might be able to shove, a, shove the colours around a little bit and get these, this looking, it's a little bit sort of bluish maybe. Um, so where's, the, where's our tint? Let's just shift. Tint over slightly. And so let's just put the same grade on this clip. So obviously that's much, much darker now. So, so we're going to have to bring this up loads to compensate. So we're now up at 1.3 on gain. It's still a pretty clean clip, so not too much bother there. Um, and push all these levels up. And yeah, these um these are kind of misleading, aren't they? Uh, I don't think you really you really have to look at it as a whole and kind of <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like like video. You know, you wouldn't grade it like this if you were doing any sort of film stuff but uh but i think it does look about right if i compare these two now right. yeah so they're about the same they look pretty good i think i prefer when when you go to the dark section here the white balance is obviously off on this uh on this door but it doesn't matter because it's in the shadow uh but i think i prefer the shadowed section on this clip actually yeah i think i prefer there so we've got a really nice clear distinction wow we've got a really good performance of da vinci with mp with h264 footage it's supposed to be better in version 14 but i can't get version 14 to work properly on my pc yet uh really nice distinction here between the detail you have got details in the shadows here like when i say shadows i literally mean shadows and uh the bright sunshine it you know it looks as you would expect that to look on a lawn you know where you've got the house putting this bit in shadow and then the bright section on the lawn. Um, so that's, I suppose, I, yeah, I think it works okay. That looks looks about right. I mean, you could tweak, yeah, you could tweak some stuff, give it a specific look that you're after. But apart from that, that's probably how I'd go about grading uh, the S-Log.